Okay, folks, you've chosen your hull laminate, your color, your finish. Now let's talk about canoe trim systems. This is the standard aluminum trim finish, which is a two-piece aluminum trim system. It clamps together very tightly. There's a nice outer lip on it, much like a wood trim canoe has, which really pushes the waves out to the side if there's a little bit of splash and spray. Because the rivets are put on the inside and it's two-piece, there's nothing to rub your hands along. If you rub your hands in the gunnel, there's no sharp finish. It's, it's nice and smooth all the way down. We also put aluminum handles on it with stainless steel fasteners. And all of the boats are finished with ABS durable end caps. We drill a hole in the end of it. So when you turn the boat over, the water will drain out of it nicely. They come standard with our curved cherry canoe seats, which are a laminate ply, different amounts of woods put together. They're riveted into the side of the boat right on one of our side rib structures. So there's tremendous strength and rigidity to it. All of our canoes have a cherry yoke as standard. And we built these yokes ourselves. We have our own wood factory where we build badger paddles and swift canoe parts. Beautiful finish. The aluminum trim finish is good for people that want something completely maintenance free. They're not going to need to worry about taking care of it. The only drawback to aluminum trim from my perspective is that it conducts temperature. When it's cold outside, it's cold to the touch. When it's really hot outside, it's hot to the touch. But very functional and practical. Swift Canoe Aluminum Trim System. Okay guys, how about Carbon Kevlar Trim? This is what Swift has really become known for with our canoe finishes. So the Carbon Kevlar Trim is super cool. It's got a really cool shape to it. We mill the foam ourselves in our factory. Gives you a really neat profile. It's got the outer lip like the aluminum trim and wood trim has. We miter the inner shape so it can butt up real nicely when we put our thwarts, our yokes, our handles in. It allows us to build a really light boat that um, it is not super warm to the touch on a hot day. It's not super cold on a cold day. And we've designed it. So it also, it fits our end cap shape and the ends beautifully. Everything's con constructed where it really fits together. On this particular cutout, you can see how the core on the bottom butts up real tightly to the bottom of the rib. And then the rib comes up and it butts up tightly to the carbon Kevlar trim shape. Now let's go over the finish on the boat for you. So this particular one is a Prospector 15. So this has the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim. On the tandem canoes, you can also order it with a black carbon Kevlar trim. The Solos come with this look as standard. Now they have the carbon end caps on the end and notice the beautiful nice tight finish. We drill the hole in the end again to allow water to drain out of the boat. All the interior is cherry on the inside. We have cherry handles, all stainless steel parts on them. Now the seats that we use are beautiful. They're curved nicely in the front, so if you're ever kneeling, it doesn't dig into the back of your legs. We've really brought the round out in the back, so for people like me with an ample posterior, you have lots of room. Every seat, bow, stern, center, we put them as wide as we can in the boat, so you can move over to the side a little bit if you want to. This comfort of this seat is incredible. 
and it's one of the big reasons a lot of people buy swift canoes over other boats. So we'll go down. The yoke is right in the balance point on the boat. It's the last piece that we put in the boat. We put a metal backing bracket behind it. We found over time they can wiggle loose a little bit. So carbon Kevlar trim, super light. We sell it a lot to trippers or people that just want a lighter boat to put on and off their cars. A lot of people say, well, what if I damage it? You can repair it just like you repair the hull of a car. But we do so little on it, guys. This is a super strong, lightweight finish, and it looks absolutely terrific. Here is a Prospector 17 black carbon Kevlar trim, and this beautiful boat has the carbon tech package. The carbon tech package is all interior carbon parts. So we say, start with the same nice shape profile, carbon Kevlar gunnel, carbon end caps. Then they've got carbon handles, thwarts, and yokes. And these are so cool, guys. We build these in-house. They're hollow. We build them with a two-piece aluminum mold. Here's one of the thwarts. You can look right through it. It's beautiful technology, the way we build these. And then the seats are also carbon. So we've shaped them exactly the same as our wood seats. It's a really cool looking finish. Absolutely beautiful. Now the carbon tech package are for two people. One of which, there's absolutely no fasteners in this boat. So if you want something that's completely maintenance free, carbon tech package, there's very little you need to do to it other than to wash it off after you've used it put a layer protectant 303 on it once or twice a year. So it, it's actually similar in weight to the cherry interior. So it also really appeals though, folks, to people that love the look of the black carbon. So we sell lots of boats throughout the year with a carbon tech package. Here is a really popular trim package that we offer. This is our black and gold carbon Kevlar trim with our cherry outers. So when the boat comes out of the mold on this one, it, there's a flat right here, and we put the cherry outers on it for several reasons. The first is that it looks super cool, and it matches the cherry parts on the inside of the boat. In cherry, as we all know, it darkens over time, so this will get a darker and darker look to it. So if you love the look of wood, I grew up in cedar canvas canoes and I love wood, this is a great package to get. It gives you the accent, the look, the feel of wood, but with the lightweight and the practicality of a new resin infused composite boat. Now, this particular one has the same cherry seats, cherry yoke, cherry handles. So the difference is the cherry outers which run right into the carbon index absolutely beautiful guys we sell lots of these to people that love 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 wood is it the right one for you how about this beautiful trim system this is our all cherry trim finish available on all our solo and tandem canoes now this will add between seven to 10 pounds to the weight of your boat, depending on the length of the boat. So it does add weight, but oh my goodness, is this absolutely beautiful. So you can see just how we finish the ends of it. So it's got cherry outer, cherry inner gunnels. We bring it out over the end and we cap it in here for durability. The undersides are perfectly smooth and we put scuppers on the bow and stern deck so when you turn the boat over, water will drain out of it. Now, all the stainless steel screws are put on from the inside as far up and down as we can on the boat. Right in the deck area, you can see a few plugs here where we put some on the outside. This is 
Super, super beautiful guys. And again, I grew up with cedar canvas boats. I absolutely love this finish. So if you don't mind your boat adding, getting a little bit more weight to it, this is absolutely beautiful. I would refinish it a couple times a year with Badger oil that we have on our web store. And what a beautiful boat. Now that you've decided which trim system would be best for your swift boat, or maybe you can't decide and need to get a couple swift boats, checking out the option videos. It goes over everything else that's available with it as your next step. Cheers.